Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. And I have started a quest to find a face covering mask I can wear that doesn't mess my beard up and I can breathe in that's comfortable. Um, so I think they just have to be designed some uh, a little bit differently for beardy guys. So I've kind of started to do my research and kind of thinking about what might work well. Um, so I'm probably going to do a series of videos because I've bought some things and I've got some more things coming and maybe at the end I'll do a big follow-up video as well. Okay. Um, one of the issues you have is if you wear the kind with the ear loops uh, right here where it rubs back and forth, uh, it can definitely get your beard out of whack. Uh, it's harder to smooth down and if you get the, um, the surgical mask um, the ones that have the little folds in it, if you pull it around, it really makes this huge dip uh, and really messes your beard up. So uh, that's kind of what I started with. Uh, the thing I like about those is I can breathe very easily compared to some of the other cloth uh, options out there. But today we're going to be talking about some I ordered off of uh, from the Sammy G collection. Uh, you can find that uh, on find them on Instagram and they have an Etsy shop. So um, I'll show you the design in just a minute. But they've got uh, this is just a local uh, person who makes masks. All right, so I think she actually started off by making uh, accessories for your doggy, like handkerchief kind of scarf things. Uh, so that was kind of neat. And now obviously uh, there's a demand for face covering. So it came in a nice little package uh, with a little note that went along with it. Uh, it was in this little bag, the Sammy G collection. As soon as I placed the order, uh, Samantha, I don't know if she goes by Sammy or Samantha, she, um, she messaged me right off the bat within like five minutes and said, what kind of, what color do you want? What kind of material, all that kind of stuff. So we went back and forth. I had to wait just a little while to get mine because, um, uh, the her elastic hadn't come in yet so you know sometimes uh, the supplies are in uh, high demand as well but uh, that wasn't an issue I, uh, she kept in contact with me several times until the order finally shipped out but um, I've got one for my wife as well so a really nice design goes right over uh, your ears like that but the ones that are designed specifically for math, uh, for beards all right, I got two of those. I got a black one and like a navy one. I didn't go for one of the really uh, wild looking patterns, but as soon as you place an order, you can uh, talk to talk to Sammy and she can show you what she's got. Uh, she sent me a picture. It's like, which ones do you want? Here's the material I've got. So uh, here is the way it's made. The key thing I think is it's got a head strap instead of a um, uh, the ear loops. I think that's gonna be a better bet because the main idea is with this strap across the top, uh, when you put it across and then everything else gets to kind of go straight down uh, is what you want if you've got a beard, especially a bigger beard uh, that's got, that'll give you the dips if it curves under your chin. All right, so this is kind of double. It's got like double um, material on it. It's got the blue and it's got the white backing on it. Uh, it's got some little side things uh, as well. I kind of wish those were mesh. I have a hard time with these um, breathing in them. Uh, I don't know if it's just a little bit too thick or I get claustrophobic or, or something to, just for me. So I kind of wish it was the, a little bit lighter, more like a slicker material uh, would be my preference. And she may have that. I just didn't get it. Uh, so let me put this on, show you how it works. So it goes uh, like this. And it goes right here and then from there it just kind of goes straight down so the the bottom strap kind of just keeps it from flapping around if you were to bend forward it wouldn't uh, uh, it wouldn't go flapping or anything like that so uh, you're definitely not breathing out uh, it's kind of serving its purpose there and right here it stays pretty pretty tight and then you have a couple options sometimes when I need a little bit more air to come through so I'm having a hard time breathing I'll just let that strap rest down there and eventually it'll kind of slide down a little bit. Uh, but you have a lot of different options. It does not mess my beard up. Uh, and I'll have to have to pull it down here and go in a bunch of shops and pull it back up uh, a lot. It can kind of get this a little bit out of whack, but it does not give me that big dip uh, like a surgical mask does, okay? So I give it two thumbs up for the design on it. Uh, the only issue I had was the material for me was a little bit 
uh, too thick. I, I felt like it was a little bit harder to breathe in, but I have been using, uh, using these a lot. Uh, like I said, I got two of them. And the, the black one for me is a little bit thinner than the, the blue one for some reason. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's my first thing that I tried besides just kind of a regular surgical mask. And she's got uh, the kind with the ear loops now uh, for like a regular kind of mask, or you can get the, the head straps uh, for kind of the regular mask too. So uh, check out Sammy G, tell her I sent you, uh, and let me know what you think about this design. Um, I think it's the going around the head, kind of having it tight across the top and then letting it be able to go a little bit straighter is going to be the key for us bearded guys. But I got two or three more things coming, all right? So be looking for some more videos over this over the next few weeks. Um, hopefully by the end of my summer vacation, I will have something that works for me. I'm going to order a bunch of them because I think I'm going to have to wear a mask uh, when I go back to work and start teaching when we bring the kids back in. Uh, cross your fingers, we get to get, bring the kids back in. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.